the correct for three, seven, nine, zero. And let's check. Oh, it's unlocked. We are lucky. Hello, my name is Nurjan Değerli. Today I'm going to show you how to set locks for your digital escape games. You are going to use generally, so you need to go to generally and start a presentation. The first thing you need is a, um, a photo. You are going to upload a photo like this. I did it before recording the video. And the second thing we need is a screen. Uh, we are going to make this screen together. Let's do it. We will go to resources and choose square and then we will shape it like this this will be our screen and it will show us if we are doing the right thing or the wrong thing when we um, push the buttons it will show us that if we are allowed or not to enter and then go to pages again and now we will need an invisible area let's find the invisible area where is it i see uh, this is it choose the invisible area and drag and drop here then put it on number three it's ready i'll go to pages again and we need other pages copy the first one and then we are going to some changes here we will need some indicators here when we click on the buttons you will see some indicators here and let's do that indicators and go to resources again choose this one and let's change the color here okay this one is our first indicator okay let's go back to pages and then we will need another one and we need another indicator here copy and we are going to copy and paste this one uh, okay and we need the third one here and again we are going to copy and paste our third indicator and then we need one more and again copy and paste yes now we have four let's uh, give name for them for example, this one is um, C1 for the correct ones, and this one is C2, and this one is C3, and this one is C4. And now we have another and copy this one and this one will be our uh, last page we will need some words here we are going to write some text here for example it is um, unlocked let's say Maybe more smaller. Okay. We can change the color again. It should be green, I think. Okay. Now go back to pages again. The first part, we are going to set this one. Three. Go to C1. Okay, and then 
we go to C1 and we drag this one to 7 and set it as go to uh, C2 okay and then go to C2 and drag this to 9 and set it to 3 and then go to 3 and set this to 0 and then go to 4 and the last one is it yes we move to here and set this to go to unlock okay i think it's ready yes let's check it let's push three and seven and nine and zero and it's unlocked okay let's go back to pages again okay now we have done the right road and now we need wrong road uh, let's do it let's go back to pages again and copy this one unlocked and call this one as night and this one as unlocked we are going to copy other pages this one is error one and this one is error 2 and copy this one as error 3 and copy this one this one is error 4 okay all the roads are ready now we are going to set these Let's go back to the first page. Uh, we have an invisible area here and another one here. Uh, this one is under and this one is on it. We set it to go to error one. This one is save. And number three it goes to number three goes to c1 okay now go to number one error one go to error one now we need an invisible area here and that area will go to error 2 okay now we go to error 2 and our invisible area is here we drag it here and adjust it like this and it goes to error 3 okay now we go to error 3 and invisible area here we adjust it like this and it goes to error 4 it's ready and we go to error 4 and this Invisible area go to um, deny it, of course. It's okay. 
Now let's check it. For example, if we press on four, two, six, or eight, and two press. Oh no. Okay, now we need to go to denied slide, the third one, because we have forgotten to change the screen. It should be um, denied. And let's change the color as red. Okay, now it's ready. Now we can go back to last slide and we can try if it is true or not. Yes, it's okay. Now go back to first one and then check. Okay, now I'm going to try one more. Yes, let's click on, for example, four, two, seven, six, and let's see. Okay, it's okay, it's working. Now we are going to do something else uh, because we need to add a back button if someone wants to try again and there's no choice to go back. So we need to add that choice and then go back to edit form and go back to denied. Where is denied? Yes, denied one. And we need to add something here. We need an invisible area here. I put it here. Okay. And it will go to first page. And if someone press this one, he or she will try one more and try to open. Let's say for the door. Let's try again. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to type the correct code and then we will see if it is working or not. Let's go to preview and write the correct code 3790 and let's check. Oh, it's unlocked. We are lucky. It's okay. From now on, uh, you can use this button as going out or going to another room or to a reward. That's your imagination. You can use this button like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.